on 27th april saturday i am have hosting an event in pondicherry the event will be inside pondicherry city those desirous of meeting me can contact the whatsapp number below or drop a email at the email given below see you in pondicherry hi everyone welcome back to be rich today i was going to talk about gold and uh, we have spoken about gold many times on this channel and in our sister channels and on this extensively spoken about gold but today's take on gold is slightly different we've always said that gold is a great hedge against inflation and it doesn't really do much other than hold against inflation and it holds its value that it marginally keeps beating inflation but it's nothing compared to what you can achieve in terms of investment in stock market but gold does have other major safeguards which stocks don't provide nor they can provide because there's one thing which is gold which it's um, it's one unique to gold i should say is the fact that it is not dependent on any country it is not dependent on a leader it is not dependent on any person gold is actually very independent a company is uh, full of people and you know what happens with people and humans we tend to be fallible and uh, a company has to exist in a country and it is uh, has to work within that country and the whims of the political organization in that country and geopolitical situations can definitely affect the revenues and the lifeline of a company but all this is not true with gold and that is the main premise of this video i want to talk about the premise of this versus the old notion that gold beats inflation so gold values have always been fluctuating and now you've seen a recent spike in gold going well above over $2100 an ounce and this is just not some random thing that is happening there is some reason behind why gold is rallying and i want to look in more detail about why gold is rallying it is more than just it being something due to inflation like i said there's been always a heavy debate on gold being an investment class if you see people like warren buffett they've always said gold is not an investment class actually because it doesn't provide any kind of growth it does not provide any kind of dividends it doesn't do anything other than just sitting so warren doesn't think gold is a great investment compared to stocks he says you can get much better returns investing in the stock market than buying a lot of gold and holding to gold but if we look at it historically from the time 1971 when nixon famously decoupled the dollar from gold gold has been independent in its price fluctuation and you've seen gold through the 70s rising and rising like the sun and then having a collapse then you see it rise again during the 2000s so you can see gold from the 1970s after decoupling it rose all the way till the 1980s then it corrected as the 1980s kicked in and went all the way down correcting correcting all the way down to 2000 then post 2000 it spiked again thanks to the 2001 2000 issues which happened globally economically and geopolitically then you saw it spike again during the 2011 2000 crisis then it's collapsed again and now it's correcting again where you see gold prices going through the roof again so if you notice this over long periods of time gold always lags behind stocks but there are moments when it has performed better than stocks in the stock market and gold has outperformed the stock market but these times if you really analyze and see why has gold outperformed the stock market it is during those times of economic uncertainties and currently the world seems to be entering such a period and it's always been very great uh, protecting you against uh, inflation that's why we say anand has always said if you have any emergency money which you need to keep to keep it in gold because gold is easily gold is extremely liquid you can get rid of it that too especially if you have etf version of gold there is no emotional attachment to it because physical gold can create uh, attachment and you find it hard to sell and you might even end up taking a loan against that gold but in etf there is no emotional attachment it's purely like an electronic version of gold and you can easily sell it and when your crisis is over you can always buy it again and start accumulating that gold again but if you see what since 2000 what has been happening the soaring of gold price is also due to the loose monetary policies adopted by central banks the global uncertainties is actually what is causing this fluctuation rather than inflation and the appeal of gold during times of crisis is gold is attractive because when confidence in political instruments in the world and financial institutions in the world wane it is always seen as a safe house like i started at the beginning of the video i said gold is not uh, what you call a slave to any society it is not a slave to any uh, political dogma 
It is not tied to any country or people. Gold is independent and the value of gold always stands independent. That is why people flock to gold, especially in times of crisis. And in 2011, as I was showing the graph and I have spoken, when US credit rating was downgraded because of the political standoff, gold again spiked and it went high again. So these kind of instances you see where gold is being run to because of the global uncertainties which are there. Now, fast forward to what's happening today in the globe. If you see with the news coming, like just yesterday, uh, Israel has gone and bombed the Iranian embassy in uh, Syria and the tension seems to be mounting and the UN resolution has passed. But even then, the Israelis don't seem to be backing down. And there's even domestic turbulence within Israel with their prime minister. And this is fueling more and more uncertainty and global tension seems to be on the rise. This seems to be the main reason I feel and Anand also would agree that it's been, gold has been rallying and pushing this further and further. So this is one of the main factors that has been pushing gold is what we feel. And the role of central banks is also adding more fuel to this fire. If you look at the central banks around the world, more and more of them have been accumulating lots of gold, which we have not seen since the 1960s. And this is purely a hedge against the dollar and the potential of a geopolitical risk Central banks are accumulating a lot of gold, which is also fueling the spike in gold prices. So as an investment strategy, what would you do? Because we are an investment channel. So do you look at now overall what I've said and looking at the global situation, get rid of all your investment in stock markets and move everything to gold? No, I would not suggest you do that. This main reasoning of this video was to explain to you that gold price movements are just not inflation and inflation bound. Yes, we've been talking about the Fed and the Fed interest rates. If Fed starts cutting the interest rates, you will see a huge spike in gold prices again. And that may happen. Yes. But I also wanted to tell you that there are other aspects to gold prices, why it creates fuels, uh, gold prices to go up. And uh, one of the main reasons seems to be a lot of political uncertainties around the world, which is currently fueling this. Now, as an investor, I would advise you to at least keep 5% at the base or even more, if you are a person who has a very low risk tolerance, and let's say you need your investments to be fruitful for you in the next five years or less, then a more a portion of your investment maybe can be in gold, more than 5%. But if you are someone like Shashwat, and you have a lot of time in your window, and you don't need to worry about it, because any geopolitical situation, if you look at it historically, blows over within 10, at worst 15 years, things have changed and things settle down again. If you have that kind of a window frame, then keeping a lesser percentage, maybe like 5% in gold, as a hedge against or everything else would make sense. Again, this is something you need to discuss with your registered financial advisor and uh, discuss with your risk appetite, with your goal, and see what amount of gold makes sense to you. So I hope you found this video informative and entertaining as always, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.